Thank you, Minister. Senator McGrath. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. My question is for the Minister for Finance yes. and the Minister representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. What is the government's response to calls by the Business Council of Australia for a long-term plan to return the budget to surplus and the BCA's assessment of the consequences of an action? The Minister for Finance representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I thank uh, Senator McGrath for that question. Of course, we agree uh, with the, the Business Council of Australia that we need to work uh, to put Australia on a stronger foundation for the medium to long term. Uh, and the consequences of doing nothing, uh, the consequences of keeping the policy settings in place that we inherited from Labor. Uh, would be uh, weakening economic growth and a lowering of living standards over time. And of course, uh, that is not an option for this government. That is not an option for this government. On my left. Uh, what we need to do, uh, we need to ensure uh, that spending growth uh, is affordable and sustainable over the medium to long term. And of course, the situation that we inherited from Labor was one where within the decade we were on track for $667 billion of government dead and growing and rising. Uh, right now, we are spending a billion dollars a left. month on Labor's public debt shame, interest. Shame. Now, that is, as the Business Council said today, there is actually an opportunity cost there. We are spending more on Labor's debt interest a month than we are spending on higher education right now. That is the opportunity cost because of the debt that Labor has uh, exposed Australia to. Now, the truth is, not only Senator did we Conway. inherit a challenging starting position, not only did Labor put us on a difficult forward trajectory over the medium to long term, we are actually facing some structural challenges uh, as a nation in any event related to the ageing of the population, which is putting upward pressure on expenditure and which is also having uh, op implications for economic Senator growth. Conroy. giving given that uh, the ageing of the population uh, results in lower workforce participation. We also are facing you, challenges as a result of volatility in terms of trade. And we can't keep spending money that we haven't got. We can't stay on the trajectory that Labor put Australia on, because over time, as we continue to grow the public debt uh, interest, uh, the public debt burden, uh, it crowds out private sector investment, it crowds out the opportunity to grow Thank the economy. Thank you, Minister. And that is why the we're time for answering the, the time. question has expired. Senator McGrath, supplementary question. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Can the minister advise the Senate whether he agrees with the Business Council of Australia's claims that Australia has a spending problem rather than a revenue problem? Order, order on my left. On my left, Senator Cameron, Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. The previous Labor government has exposed uh, Australia to excessive levels of spending. Spending grew by way too much uh, under the previous government, by 17 per cent above inflation in their first two years in government. But you know, later in their, term, in their period in government, they started to say, well, revenue is falling, and the reason we have all these deficits is because revenue uh, is now lower than what we thought it would be. And to a degree, that's true, because the terms of trade were starting to come down. But the problem is that at that time, Instead of adjusting spending growth moving forward, Labor decided to ramp up spending by more permanently into the future. In the first year outside the uh, final uh, Labor budget forward estimates, in the first year outside the published forward estimates, Labor increased spending by a massive 6 per cent. 6 per cent above inflation, when they said that their fiscal rule was somehow to constrain spending growth to 2 per cent. And of course, we were on a trajectory of government spending well in excess of 30 per cent as a share of the economy uh, when our, when our you, revenue Minister. is much the lower than that. Thank you, Minister. The time branch from the question has expired. Senator McGrath, final supplementary question. Thank you. Will the Minister advise the Senate whether he accepts the Business Council of Australia's assessment that Labor's tax proposals will cost Australian jobs? Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, over the last six years of Labor, whenever they ran into trouble with spending, which was always their instinct was always to run for another tax grab, uh, one after the other, and more taxes means lower growth and uh, fewer jobs. That's, that's the reality of it. Now, all of us are in favour of making sure that multinational companies pay their fair share of tax in Australia, and our government, our government has legislated. Uh, to uh, significantly tighten and significantly improve the thin uh, uh, capitalisation rules, for example. But when we came into government, what did we find? That Labor talks a lot about uh, strengthening our tax policy framework, 
but they don't do a lot. Uh, 96 unlegislated uh, tax measures, which they had announced, but which hadn't been legislated, uh, including, including a proposal to tighten uh, tax arrangements for multinationals, not legislated. And when we came into government, we were told by Treasury it was unimplementable. And this latest thought bubble, this latest thought bubble, we are advised, would hurt the economy and cost Thank you, jobs Minister. Because the time for answering the legitimate question business has expired. activity.